Good day. So uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to use the uh, uh, bridge creator, okay, this bridge creator to a uh, curb beam, okay? And I'm also going to show you how to use our uh, uh, reinforcement for this uh, curb beam that, uh, that is created in our bridge creator. Okay, I'm going to start to add the uh, outline here or something like a uh, uh, construction line. So under Tecla Structure Edit, you will find the construction object. And you can see here the uh, <clears throat> polycurb. So under this polycurb, I'm going to use this uh, create arc by tangent. Okay. So there are different uh, polycurb here, but I'm going to use the third option here. So what I will do is I'm going to create a uh, irregular shape curve here okay but if you have something like a uh, uh, what do you call that uh, value for the um, value for this uh, curve like uh, the radius then you you may do so all right so let's say this one is the curve that I'm going to use okay if you want to change that one you can use the the, the direct modification and then maybe something like a uh, change a little bit of the uh, uh, the radius here, right? Or undo. Maybe this one is a little bit uh, small, okay? So something like this. Okay, so you can, you can change that one, that radius if you like. So by simply changing, uh, pull, push and Pull, all right so now I have this uh, irregular shape of the curb so now I'm going to use the uh, bridge creator for this so open the bridge creator so first thing that you need to do is to create this alignment so this one will serve as our alignment so here read the alignment so select this uh, uh, construction line middle button of your mouse and then uh, now that you have this uh, alignment, hit OK and then go to this more and then again you need to convert this alignment to uh, again select and then middle button of mouse and then select this uh, alignment and then convert. So there will be a uh, what we call that a tecla structure object that will be converted there. So let me just uh, right click and then fit work area and then from here uh, I'm going to uh, to put a chainage here. I mean, uh, so that you can see the the measurement of this uh, alignment. Draw the chainage and then select the alignment and then middle button of your mouse. So as you can see here, <clears throat> we have uh, around 80 meters length of this uh, curve, right? And then uh, just simply uh, cancel this one, and then we'll start. Go, uh, we're, we're going to start modeling the uh, <clears throat> the wall. So for the wall, uh, we can call the uh, wall from our uh, profile, but basically in the bridge creator, you can create your own profile. So to do that one, I need to click here plus sign, add from library, and then here uh, select this uh, edit, and then we can now select empty and then edit. Now we can create our own profile. So since we're talking about a basic wall here, <clears throat> I'll check, I'll, uh, I'll put the name here, let's say curb, curb wall. And then from the uh, alignment proxy, we are going to uh, uh, add, okay? We're going to add now the, uh, the points here. Change this alignment proxy to the outer face. All right. So from the outer face, I'm going to change this one. I'm, I'm going to select the first point, which is the uh, poly curve, and then that will be your reference. And then we put here 0, 0, and then add. So that one will be the first point. And then from that first point, we can add another point. Let's say select the, uh, the outer face 0. And then here, we will now decide the thickness of the, uh, the wall, let's say 250. And then the vertical position is 0, then add. And then going up, uh, again, select the first outer face and then change this one. The let's see the height is uh, 2 meters. All right. And then this one is 0 and then add. Oh, sorry. 
uh, this one must be zero and then the height will must be on the dv on or the vertical so uh, let's uh, let's do one 1.5 meter all right there you go and then from here select again the the last phase and then from there we, we type here negative 250 and then this one will be zero and add and there you go you have now the <clears throat> the wall for uh, for this uh, uh, for this model this is your uh, profile that you're going to use okay so you have the 250 by two 1500 uh, wall and then hit OK as you can see here uh, just hit OK again here and then you will find the curb wall so that from the chain age it will start from zero and then let's say uh, your wall is up to 30 meters so you can just simply type here okay sample here you type uh, curb wall C wall all right so you need to specify the shape name because this one automatically will <clears throat> convert to the to an item okay and then uh, the chain each station start from zero and then let's say we end up to three thirty meters all right and after that all you have to do is check the uh, uh, check the elevation here or the 3d as you can see this is the preview of the wall and then this wall will go along with the chain age and in the in the curb in the curb line so all you have to do is hit create and there you go so you have now the the wall on that curb now how about <clears throat> if i have a curb and then a little bit tapered on the this part huh oh what i'm going to do is uh, i'll start from from 40 so what I will do is here I will type here C wall 1 and then I'll start here with the from 40 to 80 all right but by this time I'm going to have a uh, three section so I'm going to add uh, or copy this wall one and then two so the first one I uh, uh, half of 80 half between 80 and uh, 40 is uh, 60 and then this one will be 80 okay and then the this 60 i'm going to edit this one and then change the height let's say this two i'm going to change this one to um, maybe half um, 3000 okay so there you go so that one is uh, three meters now curve ball one and then hit okay and this one is this one will be the height on the middle between. So now uh, we can try to create now. Hit create. And as you can see here, there is some uh, variation from the height of this wall. Okay. So let's see what is this uh, 40. This one is okay. And then here 40 okay that's it so at least i have this variation on the wall so if you're done with this one uh now uh let us uh, add the reinforcement on this so how we're going to add the reinforcement on this basically in tecla structure uh you can do a lot of uh different ways to add the reinforcement but uh again from this topic uh as i mentioned earlier let me cancel this uh bridge creator as i mentioned i'm going to use the uh, uh bridge uh rebar okay under this uh bridge uh, uh tab there will be a rebar for the bridge creator okay so here there is a main bar so all i have to do is to select this one first and then let's add it so control two so how to add this one this is the main bar so i'm going to add the main bar here select the main bar and then pick the part to reinforce and then pick two points to determine the uh, the range so from from bottom to top and then two points to indicate the rebar direction so from this point to this point you don't have to pick the whole uh, and then pick the uh, uh, the geometry again or the element and then middle button of your mouse then there you go so you have now the, the reinforcement and then if you want to change the size of the reinforcement all you have to do is to double click on this and then as you can see here you have the uh, uh, let's say the grade I'll type here H and then modify 
all right? And then uh, as in the group, you can add more uh, rebar here, 15, sorry, 15, and then modify. So you can see there, there's a lot more reinforcement, quantity of the reinforcement. You can have the start and end cover. If you want to extend this one, eh, since we're talking about CIP here or cast in place, you can type here negative uh, one meter, and then this one is negative one meter. Modify, then there will be an exposed rebar there. So if you're okay with that uh, uh, setting, I'll just, sim just simply apply this one and then apply that one to the other uh, side. So select the main bar, pick one, and then two, and then middle button, of, uh, pick two points, one, two, and then pick the rainfall, uh, the uh, co uh, the concrete, and then middle button of your mouse, and there you go. So you have now this reinforcement, okay? So here you have the reinforcement. Now, uh, for the uh, link, okay, you can see that there is a crossbar. So all you have to do is to select the uh, crossbar and then pick the part. So close this one. This, this time it's a crossbar, pick the part again to reinforce and one and then two, three, and then four, uh, three, and then four, and then middle button of your mouse, and then one, two, for the direction again. And then pick again the part, and then middle button of your mouse, then there you go. So you have now the, the this uh, uh, crossbar, and then select again, one, two, <clears throat> and then three, and then four, middle button of your mouse, and then again, one, and then two. And then pick, middle button of your mouse, and there you go. So this one, you can just simply change the uh, uh, the hook or whatever you want here. You can double click and then change crossbar, and then here, let's say for the group, uh, if you want to, uh, to change this one instead of uh, uh, 25, maybe, Let's see if this one is 100. I don't know what. It, okay, then there you go. So you can change that one or maybe 50 so that it's not that big gap. Okay. And as you can see here, you have already the, uh, the reinforcement for the curb. And since uh, if you're talking about the CIP, of course, this main bar, Let's try this one if this one works, but uh, there's an option here for the meantime. You can uh, check, uh, use the splice object and then select and then say yes and then modify. So there will be a, a little bit of warning here, but anyway, no worry. But uh, here, if you select the main bar, as you can see here, where's the, uh, this main bar? Yeah, it should it should have a uh, something like a uh, splicing here. Let's uh, try the other uh, part here. Maybe I'll put here uh, 12 meters and then I'm oh, sorry, 12 meters, and then this one is uh, six meters, and then modify. You're supposed ah okay sorry, um, actually it's there. The only thing is you need to select objects in component. So that uh, you can see the, uh, if you notice here, this one is splitted, see? You have already the split, okay? So all you have to do is, uh, you can either move or uh, you can adjust the points if you like, if you want to, to have the, uh, for the, for the meantime, uh, but basically it should, it should have an overlapping. I don't know why in this uh, example, uh, doesn't give the overlap, but uh, you can try on your uh, uh, model. It should over, it should have an overlapping, okay? But anyway, if it doesn't have the overlap, then it's still okay because you can still change the uh, the position of this one. Just simply move, and then you can put that one, let's say, uh, 400, so something like this, right? So that there will, but the important is there is a split, all right? Now, uh, let's uh, move on. 
uh, let's try to apply this one for this uh, tapered, see? The tapered section in the curved wall. So again, select one, two, three, and then one, two, and then select the part and then middle button of your mouse and then there you go. So as you can see here, maybe I'll just simply uh, change the cover here and then uh, put this one on the negative 50 and then modify, there you go. So as you can see here, see, the reinforcement automatically goes to the shape of the concrete. Okay, so for the uh, for the crossbar, select this one, pick the part to reinforce. Okay, select this bar, pick the part to reinforce this, and then click, click the shape. One, two, three, four, or oh, sorry, four, and then middle button of your mouse, and then pick. One, two for the range, and then pick the part again, and then middle button of your mouse, then it should have this reinforcement there. See? Automatically change. All right. So let's try again to uh, change the uh, splicing here. Hopefully this works. Okay, I think it still doesn't, but again, this one is spliced already. Okay, so here you have the splice there. All right, so this is how you use the uh, bridge creator along with the uh, uh, reinforcement under this uh, bridge tab in your Tecla structure. Okay, so thank you.